this one was another person the person who picked his phone is not the person who he slapped this one was another a friend of mine i said as i'm talking to you he's in zone two police station i went there yesterday night still now as i'm talking to you a boy who didn't do anything you just picked your phone and return your phone what you do was you send you send your men to go and block him at the road because he picked your phone or you, you just feel to do him that he doesn't have his right he doesn't know his rights they messed him up i wish i had the video i would have showed you here they messed they messed him up man that lady Uma that lady said that him you will call the ig and cp that they are going to jail the boy for 50 years it's only God that can, you know God, even God cannot even rescue the boy from his hand, only dead. That is to say that he wants the boy to die. That was exactly scene where he passed. And then this was where the, 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 when he was coming in, he clamped, he clamped this iron, this very iron here. And this was exactly place uh, the security security guy and him. They started having issues. They started beating the security. It was this place. It was this place. They started beating up the security guy. But this was the very thing here that where he hit. The, the pregnant woman that was about to enter the shop here. So that was where this whole thing started. And before he now drove and packed to this place, this very thing, that was where he packed. And then that was where he started beating up the, uh, 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 they started begging him, he started making mad blabbing, saying all this and that, that he will do this. He will sentence the boy to 50 years imprisonment. And then uh, even God will not help him. That was a particular thing. That was where it started. So, and then before we now go this way to, we get, they now locked up the gates. That was what exactly happened. Stationed our boys to move walk around to arrange the car so that they will be accessible in the plaza. Then the guy that we stationed at the car park, his name is Clement Sagwa. So a man drove a car and when he came to the car park, then he was moved around that ring. He hit somebody, a pregnant woman. Then he went and parked roughly, and the security guard walked to him. He said, sir, please, the car was not parking well. Can you prop repark it properly? Then the man stopped down from the car. When he came down, he walked straight and slapped a security guard. And when he slapped the security guard, the driver also came down. Both of them, two of them, they rush him, fall him to the ground, they march him. The man went to his car, ran to his car, and carried the iron to chuck the boy, this, which is a security guard. Then one of the tenants ran, which is nearby, ran and collected the iron from the man's heart. That he's going to jail the boy over 50 years. Nobody, even if God comes down, God cannot handle the issue, except the dead that can remove the boy from the prison. That the boy will be there over 50 years, except dead that can remove the boy from the prison. Then when the security man went down, he says, okay, let me apologize. He knelt down, at that place of knelt down, the driver came and struck him, slapped him, and also the man came, he used his own leg, he hit him on his mouth, which that the mouth tore, and the blood rushed down. The boy fainted at the middle. The security, that security guard have to rush the boy. Have to rush the boy from that area, go and hide him in another place. If, when we went to Zone 2, even at that uh, 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 police station where I, where I went to see him, I was asking the boy, I said in question, what do they say you do? And the boy, even the policeman there now said, ah, we, he said ah, he should ask that he just returned, he picked phone and returned to the, just like that, just like that. They dealt with him as if now, na, na, even goat. They won't do him like that. Naked, stuck naked. Look at the driver. His tongue was showing blue. 
that was to show that he was taking to he was on high drug it's roachy that blue color is roachy and i look at him the way the guy was speed was like falling i said oh god no wonder you people took drug and that is why you drive you just need to drive any hand without looking and the man was jerking and was saying where's my phone i will I'll close down this place where's my phone? he was just saying all sorts of things from his mouth and all that he said that security that he would jail him for 50 years even god will not that's what do they call his name um, uh, the, uh, the, the, the so-called so, so judge or whatever. He said he would jail him 50 years, even God will not. I say, what kind of heartless man is this? He was panting, shouting and all that, making noise and all that. Even the people, the very scene, those guys there, who, who was even at that scene, was even telling him, oh, God, you are not, you don't supposed to do like that. So if assuming we allow you, you will remove that iron and you go and hit the board. Because of you are a so-called big man and then we will run for you or that. You don't supposed to do like that. And the man was shouting. He said, this is that. Where is my phone? Where? Luckily enough, my friend was the one who picked the phone. But that very day, after that thing, he, the boy called him and said, sir, look at your phone. But do you know what that man did? This man sent DSS to go and pick this boy up in that night. They messed this boy up. See his clothes? I was in. I was in. Even I went to see the boy in in in, in, in police station, zone two, yesterday yesterday night. I went to see him. The boy was even the way they tortured him as if he's a criminal. If somebody could pick phone and then give you back the phone, do the boy, do the person want to steal the phone? But uh, we're surprised that we had that uh, he was being pinpointed and being picked later in the day. Later in the day, specifically, I don't, I don't, I I, I don't know if uh, he if he threw objects directly to, to his car or, or to him. But uh, uh, picking, him, picking him was not the best because he, he, was, he was innocent. Well, he was innocent because the, the thing happened, happened in a random place and, and, there were so, and there were so many persons, there were noise all about. But for him to come and be picked later, that means he was being pinpoint. And maybe he was, maybe it is, he want to concur that he was being, he was being haunted. That was, that was why they came after only him later and come and picked, picked him. He later returned, he didn't return it immediately. He later returned it when the whole place came. He returned it to the man. But I was surprised that in the evening, I, somebody called me that those DSS still came and picked the guy. They were shooting gun because uh, when they came to pick him, the boys refused them to go with him because uh, they knew that he, he was uh, innocent. So that was why they, they were throwing objects, objects to the security men. That was why those men begin to shoot, begin to shoot. And when they were shooting, the bullet and, and that gun sound scares people's away, people away. Came down and gave a very dirty slap to the security man. So in the process, the security man returned the slap immediately him then started fighting so in the process of fighting i rushed with some other people to separate them we saw some group of police coming even when the police arrived that one word that one that the one that is acting like tout is still boasting jumping so one of the police that came with him was even telling him to keep quiet if he tried to disturb you again, he will slap him. But he couldn't. The next thing, he just jump on top of the Toyota. Blank. I said, ah, I was just wondering. But how can this tout do with this man? And the man was acting. The one with suit and tie was acting. He was acting abnormal, as if the sense wasn't. I said, no, something could be wrong. Security man. To beg him, he or which he knelt down and was begging. Then the next thing, the next, uh, uh, the man with Mufti, with Captain, slap, slap the boy while he knelt down begging. And the one with suit and tie used his leg to march. So it was that time, crowd said, No, this is wickedness. Oh, they are not Biafra guys. There are so many tribes, Ausa, Igbo, Yoruba, Igalas, that are doing 
19 years. Barnet is a plaza. Then have a management that regulates the conduct and activities of all tenants. Everybody comes in here to shop. There is no evidence of such. It is a lie. It was never it was it was never a people that are being labeled as the Biafra boys because this is a marketplace. It's been missed up by all all tribe. Because uh, calling because you calling calling them a Biafra people is, is always labeled to the east. But this place is a marketplace that will have all tribes, all regions. Yeah. It was a misreaction. Because uh, it got to a point that uh, even even the boys here got pissed off when he was trying to assault the security man. That was why the that was why they have to react, and that reaction took place because of uh, his own his own action. They were trying to hold him, but but he was trying to resist persons holding holding him. That was why the, the market boys have to start throwing things at him and and attacked him. And that guy that was picked later on towards six seven. The guy is one of us here in the market. He came with the police people three police people to arrest him. The boy left. In the evening, he came with DSS outside the complex. They were shooting gun anyhow. They arrested him, and the boy was acting like, what happened? Before we knew anything, they naked him, they tore his clothes, and they forcefully take him. So people, the masses that came to like ask what happened, they were shooting around, nobody could come by the side of your box. We sent him to the hospital still in the hospital so they are treating him when he recovered then we bring him back is the company that is responsible for the treatment or, or we have spent much amount of money every the money i had in my account i wasted it all because of the issue right now md has spent huge amount of money about the issue the boys complaining that his mouth the teeth now they are running that uh, as he hit the ground as he hit the ground his head Hit one stone, which they have to run the a brain scanning. Then his eyes is now even is not properly functioning anymore. The chest everywhere is pending the boy. He has a, a problem in the spinal cord. Now we have even saying that if possible, if the Nigeria because if Nigeria hospital cannot handle him where we are flying him out outside here. But if Nigeria hospital can handle him where, then we want the boy to survive. We don't want the boy to die. In such in this case, and to see us a less privilege to survive in this world, and it's not supposed to be happen. All fingers are not equal. So if you are survive, add me your own field. Me, I'm hustling on how to feed my family, and they doesn't want to see us. So please, we want the government to handle the issue so that anywhere the big men in Nigeria are, so we a less privilege too. We have our own right to survive in Nigeria. If not, if this issue cannot be handled, where well, the big men will continue to mess less and deal with the less privileged in Nigeria.